Seniors need to check their names on the diploma list. Good morning. It's Tuesday, February 3rd. I'm Lacey Crowdhamel. And the wrestling team continues to roll. Good morning. I'm Tanner Cole. The JHS report is coming up. The JHS wrestling team is flying high with conference sec and sectional victories under their belt. Reporters Damon Dryden and Sherelle Williams take a look at this year's team. Wrestling, now, a sport in which two contestants fight against each other, gripping and special holes, trying to force the other shoulder onto a mat. The wrestlers at Jeff High make this definition come alive every chance they get. My partner, Damon Dryden, got the chance to travel to Indianapolis with the varsity team for an overnight trip. What do you believe are the fundamentals of wrestling? The fundamentals of wrestling in our wrestling program are just trying to be the best version of yourself you can be. In some people's wrestling programs, it might be uh, be stronger, uh, be quicker, things like that. But but we believe when you try to be the best person you can be, that you're trying to wrap all those things up in there: uh, stronger, faster, better grades, better person. And uh, we try to get all our wrestlers to believe in. Uh, the better they are as a person, the better they're going to be as a wrestler. Do you see your wrestlers practicing these fundamentals? Uh, for the most part, most of them do. Uh, you know, we're, we're kids, and uh, even adults have trouble uh, being the best version of themselves they can be every day. But I think all of them are striving to be better, and uh, it's kind of a goal that you don't ever exactly hit because you can always be a little better. Speaking of team goals, what team goals have you set for your wrestlers this season? As far as a concrete goal, uh, our, our future, our program goal is to be state champs. Um, our kids are starting to believe in that goal. You know, we beat the number one team in Kentucky. We're wrestling the number one team in Michigan tomorrow. And last time we wrestled the number one team in Indiana, we only lost by one match. So they're starting to see that that goal is a, is a reality. And it could happen sometime within the uh, time that they're participating. And we're hoping that we can win sectionals and conference this year and take our first step towards that. So has your wrestlers exceeded your expectations? Uh, the other night when we wrestled Trinity, it was the first time in seven years here that uh, I was able to say our wrestlers are as aggressive as I want them to be. Uh, our wrestlers are setting the goals where I want them to set them. And, uh, you know, when we were wrestling them, uh, it, it was for the first time I able to look at it and say, you know, the, these guys are doing what we want them to do and believing in what we want them to believe in. So uh, we're on track with our goals, uh, but we're always going to try to get as good as we can, as fast as we can, and, and hopefully catch our goals a little ahead of schedule. What is the team goal? Uh, state finals. What is the team goal? To win team state. What is the team goal? Win state. How do you feel about the season so far? I feel like we're a top 20 team who's going to be in the running for state finals. With sectionals and conference coming up, what team do you look forward to wrestling? Floyd Central. Has wrestling improved your personal life? Uh, yes. It's uh, been a great confidence booster. Uh, I meet more friends from wrestling, you know, things like that. Do you believe the overnights bring the team together? Uh, yes, we, we can go hang out. We went bowling before this one. We went laser tag. <laughs> And things like that. How do you feel about the season so far? I feel like we've done pretty good. We've almost beat two top ranked teams, and we beat the number one team in Kentucky in modern day, almost. With sectionals and conference coming up, what team do you look forward to wrestling? Floyd Central, because I want to rematch with them because they beat us in a HHC duel, so I'm looking forward to that. Has wrestling improved your personal life? Yeah, it makes me mentally and physically stronger, so. And do you believe that these uh, overnights will bring the team closer? 
Yeah, because it, it puts us all together, and we always do something fun, so we're always doing something together, and it brings us, and it makes us like a family. How do you feel about the season so far? It's been pretty good. We beat the number one ranked team in Kentucky, and besides that, we've been pretty good. With sectionals and conference coming up, what team do you look forward to wrestling? Definitely Floyd Central and a little bit New Albany. Has wrestling improved your life? Sure. Do you believe the overnights bring the team closer together? Oh, definitely. It's always a good time with the pals. For the WJHS Report, I'm Sherelle Williams. And I'm Damon Dryden. All seniors need to stop by and see Ms. Moore in the main office to double check the senior diploma list. To get your announcement on the WJHS Report, simply fill out the form located in the front office or have a staff member email Mr. Gross, and we'll do our best to make sure the announcement gets on the air. All announcements must be submitted at least three days in advance to be put in the newscast. We'll have the JHS weather forecast plus your latest Chef High Sports after the break. Experience SNAP. No long waiting lines, no crowded parking lots, no expensive monthly dues, no contracts, only the best equipment, starting at just over $1 a day. We're always open and nearby. You can work out day and night, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Convenient location, close to your home or your office. SNAP Fitness. Call now, 283-SNAP. Next to Meyer and Smoothie King, visit our other location at Paoli Pike in Floyd's Knobs. Good morning, I'm Lee Spalding with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, cloudy with snow, colder, and a high of 23. One to three inches of snow expected. Tonight, variably cloudy with snow showers, low of 13. Snow accumulations less than one inch. Tomorrow, flurries and a few snow showers throughout the day, cold and a high of 22. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at JHS Sports with Brittany Sparkman. Good morning, I'm Brittany Sparkman with JHS Headline Sports. Freshman Jalen McLean scored 20 points and junior Alexis Samuel added 16 as the Jeff girls basketball team picked up their fourth straight victory and eighth win in the past nine games. Jeff beat Class 2A, number 8, Austin, 74-65. to Jeff finishes the season 17-3 and 7-0 and in the Hoosier Hills Conference. Jeff now heads into the Seymour sectional and will face Bedford Monday, February 9th in Game 1 at 6 p.m. Baseball conditioning continues today. Anyone interested in playing baseball and not playing a winter sport should meet in the upstairs gym balcony. See Coach Wacker if you have any questions. Track conditioning has begun. Athletes should meet in the locker rooms under the stadium after school each day. Softball conditioning continues today at 3 p.m. Girls interested should meet by the softball locker room at that time. That is all for Jeff High Sports. Stay tuned for a final word with the news desk. How is school going this year? Things not making sense? Let one of our highly skilled tutors help you. One-on-one -on -one instruction in your home at affordable prices. 284-6081, mapletreeservices.com. You'll be glad you did. You'll be glad you did. Maple Tree Learning Services, 284-6081, mapletreeservices.com. Finally today, we'll still be running birthday greetings on the JHS Report. Bring six pictures and five dollars to room 713 at least a day in advance. Now you're up to date with your latest Jeff I News. I'm Tanner Cole. And I'm Lacey Crowd Hamill. From all of us here at WJHS, have a great day and remember to do your part to make Jeff High School a better school. And thank you for watching the JHS Report. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now Backbeat, the word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out Sure, you've heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt. I don't believe that anybody. 
Everybody's 